Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. It's mid to late May 2023 and I've just got an advanced copy of the F-15E Strike Eagle which is great and it almost certainly means that you guys, the public, are going to be getting it very soon. Now I've obviously got to go and learn this and my first aim is to set the controls up and that's the first thing I've done. So why don't we go over that together and I'll show you how I've set my controls up. To keep things simple, I'm just going to be looking at the front seat. Massive disclaimer everyone, this is the preview copy and even when early access comes out, it's very likely that these controls will change. Some may be added, some may be deleted, some may have their names changed, so just bear that in mind. This is very much a first pass look at the controls and once I've fully learned the aircraft later on I'll come back and probably do it again differently. So we're going to go to options, controls. Make sure you select F-15E, not F-15E WISO. Here are the categories. There are five categories we want. So first, axis controls. Obviously, with your joystick, and I'm using a Wing Wing F-18 stick, you want your X and your Y joysticks and add any curves you want to. Rudder, I've got rudder pedals, and so obviously I'm going to have my rudder axis there. Sticking on rudder, you will want your wheel brakes. So axis there, axis there. Or if not, just press W on the keyboard will do the job. TDC slew, you can set it up as axis and or binary controls. And I've done both. So on my thrust stick, I have kind of an axis knob. And I can do that axis and I can do that axis. You'll probably need to set it up manually with axis tune to change saturation, dead zone and or curve to your liking. Finally, engine obvious. You've got your left engine stick and your right engine stick. That's all obvious standard stuff. Next, more obvious stuff. Why don't we start on view? I always like to scroll down to the bottom and I like in my cockpit to have zoom in slow and zoom in out. And in fact, I've forgotten an axis, haven't I? So I'm just gonna jump back to axis quickly. Zoom view is a really useful one. If you've got a turny wheel or something on your stick or your throttle, have that as an axis so you can zoom in as much as you want. It helps you focus on things may or may not be possible in your VR. Next, flight control. Flaps up and flaps down, and I've put them on my usual place, up and down switch on the right of my throttle. Next, and kind of finally, this is really useful, and I hope it stays like this. What they've done is put a category in here called HOTAS, and what that's done is put 99% of the stuff you'll need to set up in this one category. So all you've got to do is make sure you've got pretty much everything in this category set up, and as far as I can see, you're good to go. Auto acquisition switch, you're going to need all three commands. This is a quite a complex plane with lots of controls, and I've actually run out of buttons on my HOTAS, so I've had to go to the numpad here, which is going to be really annoying, and I will need to find a solution, but I don't have it yet. So I've just gone three numpad commands on the keyboard. Then you're going to need a boat switch. For the boat switch, I've got actually a four-way switch again on the right of my throttle. Two of those commands I'm using for zoom in, zoom out, and the other two I'm going to use for boat switch aft and forward. Next, castle switch is going to be very important and it's something that you're going to want to use a lot. So I'm putting it on my joystick and it is the actual castle switch of the F-18 in the middle of the head of the stick. And it will have an up, down, left, right and of course a press function. So put that somewhere very easy to use on your stick. Next, countermeasures, dispense manual one and dispense manual two. I've got a two-way switch on the very bottom of my thrust stick where I put all my countermeasures and all my aircraft. And that's one thing to say, try and set it up as similar to other aircraft as you can. If you have every aircraft set up completely differently, then you're going to fail. It's going to be impossible to remember, especially when you drive 45 aircraft. Next, coolie is going to be important. And again, I've run out of joystick, I'm afraid, and I don't like using modifiers. So I'm going to go to keyboard and I've just got arrows up, down, left and right. Finger lift is optional, so I've left finger lift out for now. Left multifunction switch, again, I'm out of room on my stick, so I've gone to space on the keyboard for the time being. Radios, uh, we've got one and two. Keyboard, uh, that one there and that one there. And I've just got keyboard full stop and comma. Nose wheel steering slash weapons button. I've got my nose wheel steering at the front of my joystick. It's the Hornet nose wheel steering button. So I've got that there. Paddle switch where the F-18 has a paddle on the front of the stick. So I've got that there. Radar antenna up and down. Unfortunately, again, I'm out of buttons. So I've gone to the numpad again and it's up 
and down. Speed brake, I have a four-way switch on the right of my throttle, which I'm using for speed brake and flaps, and I'm using aft and forward for that. TDC will be very important, and luckily the Hornet has another four-way hat switch on the head of the joystick. It is very small and fiddly and awkward, but it's the best I've got, so up, down, left, and right, and of course, press. Trigger is trigger. It's a two-stage trigger, so I just do the second stage of it. Trim, obviously this stick has a trim hat, so up, down, left, and right. Pickle, I have a pickle button on the head of the stick, so that's that. Weapons mode seems to have three that I'm interested in, and I've got gun, short-range missile, and medium-range missile. I've got a four-way switch on the left side of my joystick, and so I'm using aft, center, and forward. That's pretty much it as far as I can see for what you need to get started. Note, there's some other useful ones I've seen here. In fact, just in case they do take the HOTUS category away, you can also get to this via control stick and via throttle quadrant. This also looks useful. It has rear cockpit commands. Obviously, you've got a wizzo in the back and you may need him to do stuff. And if you don't want to switch back to that seat to press the buttons, it appears you can control some of the very important buttons from the front seat. So that might be useful. Maybe I'll have to go and add in some commands there as well. And that is my first pass at the controls for the front seat of the F-15E. Like I said, disclaimer, they will probably change and I may need to add some later on, in which case I'll make a new video. I hope that was useful and see you later.